what is up you guys it's your girl that girl the show and i'm back with another video i know you guys are probably like who in the world are these people stranger danger and he coughing like what's going on well you guys before we get into that make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below because talk to me y'all like talk to talk to your girl talk to your girl let me pause this because y'all y'all already know <laughs> y'all this is Jawan lopez and you're probably like hmm he looks a little familiar and hmm i know that name hmm y'all this is lana's son her oldest son and today is mother's day so we are going to reunite her with her kids because she hasn't seen her kids in a long time and yeah we are going to have a mother's day little reunion now just a quick backstory and let me give y'all the little tea on what's going on all right now lana y'all already know i told y'all from when i introduced y'all to her she is a party girl she basically chose the streets over her kids like <laughs> she felt like once her kids became teens like she was done her job and that didn't sit right with the oldest one so he basically took it among himself to take the other two kids and you know take care of them basically which he is doing a pretty good job at but you guys but you guys because of that his relationship with his mom is not the best they're not like sworn enemies they just aren't the best of friends or you know they don't have the best mother some relationship because he basically feels like she abandoned them which she kind of sort of did but as y'all know lana is trying to get her life together you know so she told her kids that she was trying to get her life together so they were like i guess you can come over for mother's day and we'll see what happens so let me give you guys a quick tour of their house and i will introduce you guys to the other two kids just so you guys know i will bring lana here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add her to the family that way i can control control all of them because y'all know i like to be in control okay but let me give you guys a quick little tour and yeah okay guys so they do live in evergreen harbor which y'all know is low-key ghetto as hell like look at this look at this this is what this is where they live because they are poor and they're struggling like he's really struggling to maintain so they basically live on the docks and a shipping a shipping container y'all like this is freaking ghetto lana should be ashamed of herself but anyway it's all smog and stuff going on out here like they about to catch asthma <laughs> like okay guys so this house is a little weird because it's the shipping containers like hello so you come through and there's like two doors so the way i broke it down well it kind of was already broken down this way a little bit kind of sort of of course y'all know i revamped it let's go to like the main entrance but like the guests will actually go which will be this way so you walk in and they have a little dining area here and their little their kitchen why do i always call everything little they have their kitchen which is mad cute love this for them um they're really poor so like they don't have much like <laughs> i was gonna do like um the cabinets on top and stuff but i was like they can't afford that like i mean don't get me wrong the brother makes money because he definitely sells drugs and stuff and like once he reaches level 10 he will start his own gang but you guys he doesn't have it all right now so he's doing the best he can with what he got right this is their little living room area just the tv couch you know picture nothing nothing too crazy um i kind of like this house though it's a little vibe um then they have a bathroom the bathroom is super simple it's literally just a toilet and a sink is for the guests 
and yeah it's the guest bathroom and before I go upstairs I am going to go across the hall <laughs> the hall I'm funny so you go back outside <laughs> And you go through this door, and this leads to a hallway. Let's just go through this door. You go through this door, and this is the, I guess he's the middle child. Yes, he's the middle child. His name is Cavante. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm ho I'm, I hope I'm remembering it right, actually. He's very artistic. And yeah, that's his thing. He's an emo. He, yeah, he likes to paint. He loves music, but he likes to be alone. He likes to be by himself. He likes to isolate himself a lot and just chill. And of course he has the stallion on his wall because why not? Like <laughs> she'd be inspiring him. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He is the middle child. Him and his mom have an okay relationship. Not as bad as um Jawan but you know still not the best so yeah then this way we have the bathroom now this bathroom is the one that he shares with his sister so they have like a double sink area y'all y'all will see like Jawan don't spend that much that much money on himself but he makes sure his siblings are straight okay like so Kavante still has some clothes piles under there. His sister has makeup, some flat a flat iron, some pads. This is also where they do their laundry at. So they have the laundry stuff. They have some tissue, all that, all that, all that. So clearly, you can see like she's a little more girly, and he's just you know a guy. And then this door here basically just leads to the toilet, and also around here is the shower so if someone wants to take a shower while someone's pooping or someone's brushing their teeth they can do that and they have their little robes here and yeah y'all please do not mind that some of the doors are like this and then some of them are flat i basically just had to like finesse what fit better so yeah and then this room here belongs to Iris. Iris is the baby of the family. She is the spoiled princess of the family. Um, her and her mom really have a pretty decent relationship because by the time her mom was like leaving and running the streets, you know, she was still pretty young to like really fully understand. And at that point, her brother was already taking good care of her. So yeah. She's definitely a girly girl, loves the sparkly, like, pink, you know, pink princessy type stuff. Very much into glam, but again, she's still broke because, you know, they don't have much money. So, she makes the best out of what she has, and you'll probably see her face better. Let me see. Like, she's pretty. She low-key looks like her mom. Low-key, if you guys see their dad, maybe she looks more like her dad. Like, a light-skinned version of her dad, low-key. And, yeah, you guys, so they do have a father. Their father lives with his new wife. Him and their mom stopped getting along a long time ago. So, yeah, he left before she left. They have a pretty okay relationship with their dad. Jawan doesn't have a good relationship with either of his parents because he feels abandoned. He low-key feels like, wow, I had to really, like, you know, pick up y'all slack. But we will meet the father maybe on Father's Day. Who knows? If I care enough. <laughs> or maybe we'll invite him over, you know? So then, y'all, yes, there's a ladder in their house. Y'all, can y'all hear them freaking fireworks? It's ghetto, y'all. It's ghetto. And by the way, you guys, I'm recording this video on Juneteenth. So, happy Juneteenth. It is now a federal holiday, period. It should have been. But, but let me not get started on that because, y'all, I don't get how they like, ooh, federal holiday, but kids can't learn about it in school. Can't talk about slavery in school. Like, what? Anyway... 
let me not start. Um, <laughs> so you come up these freaking things. I'm low key like, is this fireworks or are they shooting? Like, please, <gasps> embarrassing. Um, you come up the the ladder, and there's a door right here which will be locked to the public. Don't be coming in here. But yeah, you go in here. And this is Jawan's room. Very simple, very basic. Y'all, he spent most of his money on his siblings. He grows his weed in here because he can't really afford to be buying from dealers because he's broke. He does do music. That's like his thing. But like he's a producer. He doesn't like rap. His little brother wants to be a rapper, but he's like, nah, fam. But he doesn't really focus on that too much anymore just because his main focus is his siblings. His computer because he does hack. Like, y'all. And he has to get on the, like, you know, on the web and do some crazy stuff, dark web type stuff. To, you know, not the freaking stuff floating. That's embarrassing. <laughs> y'all already know. And then he has a little outdoor area where he could just come and relax kumbaya even though who wants to be out here in all this smog like really like come on y'all do better do better if you knew better you do better <laughs> and then you have this little room here which is just his bathroom he has a very simple bathroom like i said he takes more care of his siblings and himself simple shower simple everything i forgot to give them mirrors in their bathroom but they can't afford it. <laughs> um, and then they have a little outdoor patio section up here where they can just grill, which they've been doing. As you can see, they have some corn up here. Um, and he also has some weed up here. Most of his stuff is up here. He has those other two plants inside for like when the weather doesn't permit or is like not in season. So, yeah, that's that. So, you guys, those are the siblings. And we're about to call their mom over. Um, I just want him to harvest all. I want to make sure all his weed is there. He does have some already. Some, um, what do you call these? Some bad y'all i'm so freaking stupid um hello harvest all means get all it um um let's cure some weed since we have enough and let's put it here so it can cure great wonderful this is how you keep the money flowing all right so let's Actually, let me have him use the bathroom, shower, all that good stuff. I'm going to have all of them do that. And we're going to have her call her mom over because I feel like if one of the brothers calls, she might not come. So, let's invite to hang out. Y'all, please leave a comment down below if you guys are experiencing people do mad fireworks in your neighborhood. Like... Yeah, I really hate fireworks. Like, oh, you guys, is she freaking drunk? Yeah, yeah. Let me quick add her to the family. Not she's freaking wasted. Girl, not you trying to show your kids you changed and you really didn't. Y'all, this is embarrassing. Like, what's going on? Look, they're freaking gonna die living here. They're literally gonna get, like, throat cancer or something. I don't freaking know. And he's upstairs not caring at all. Yeah, because you might need to smoke after all this. Look at them. Oh, look, they're getting along pretty well. And look at little mama's in here cooking. Like her juices. Wow. Parenting level one. 
What a freaking shame. Um, and let's smoke before we go downstairs. Wow, now she ate without everybody. <laughs> she like, y'all playing. Let's have a little deep conversation with our brother. Y'all, what the? Y'all, I know you have to hear that. I'm so sorry for the fireworks. Like, before we go and stream for the day, I'm going to have her give her mom this gift. Y'all, see, Lana is not a good mom. She stay beefing with her kids. Um, Does she like it? <gasps> Unappreciative gifts? That's freaking crazy. Yeah, girl, go mind your business. This lady has issues, like... Since your kids don't have to do a thing for you, like, you want to be back a part of their lives. And this is what you're doing? Like, y'all, this is freaking crazy. Let's see. Wow, he likes her gift. That's crazy. Um, she needs to talk to her son. Y'all, what is going on? Lana's starting to feel like a nuisance. That weird thing. I wish a sicker would. What you saying though from a sim giving you the runaround? Wait, what is going on? Here, come sit next to your son. How about you apologize to your son? Because you came in here ready to start stuff. Oh, he not with it. Oh, okay. Guess he is. Great wonderful yes let's fix this relationship <gasps> yes not them beefing like y'all was just headed in the right direction oh they have a crush on each other sir she is a child okay let me see festering grudge wow not a festering grudge not her mom having this trait okay Like, this embarrassing. <laughs> Iris is falling in love with that crush of hers much too fast. Girl, I mean, he can give you money if he got it. I'd be like, but I know his brother, so, y'all. <laughs> Things were going so well. Okay. $40. Yeah, and they're arguing like what is going on she's coming down from the drugs girl they doing too much for me just stop talking cause y'all was doing good not her girl not the drink you are already drunk all right, so the dad is on the way, and yeah, girl, go take a bath. <laughs> and the mom is sitting here drinking with the stink face, like, this is freaking ghetto. Oh, you guys, look at the little baby. So this is a half-brother, I guess? Yeah, it's his father's child with their stepmom. The evil stepmother. Have her come give her dad a hug. <sighs> and let me have Iris go speak to her ex man, her baby daddy. Let's share the Mother's Day spirit with him. Like, thank you for showing up on Mother's Day. What the heck is going on? Um, sir? <laughs> I do not know what's happening over there. Y'all, she is a hot mess. Oh, I'm paranoid. It's paranoid for smoking too much weed. Oh, well. Not them all chilling watching TV. What kind of painting is this? <laughs> um, sir. Here, come meet your little brother. I don't think either, any of them met their little brother. Girl, come put some freaking uh, mask on your face. Do some skincare or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah is them like 
choking and dying out here look at him and his dad having a little heart to heart they have a great relationship that's crazy let's have everybody come upstairs to sit down y'all lana literally has freaking drinks i'm gonna have a little drink get a drink she literally has drinks in her inventory not them over here flirting it's a toxicity for me let's ask her about her taste in music like so sis what songs you've been listening to lately i've been hearing that meg the stallion bumping from your bedroom <laughs> Yeah, not her drinking the bad drink, like girl. Wow, and then she left the table. Yeah, Lana is a lost freaking cause when it comes to her kids. Like, tell your dad um, that you're a musician. He's working. All right, yay. Okay. Why is there like hearts going? Okay. I'm just gonna pretend we didn't see that because this is her son. Like, um, let's talk about the family drama so we can get past all that. She needs rehab first of all. Yeah, I'm so happy that Lana and her kids are on good terms now. N the issue now is just gonna be her stopping the drugs and stuff all right you guys so i'm gonna end this video right here this was a cute little video cute little mother's day or whatever nothing too big i honestly just wanted to introduce you guys to lana's family so that way they can come over and visit her and you guys will kind of already know who they are and what's going on also they needed to fix this whole relationship they had going on because as you can see, Lana is very toxic. Like, very. But I'm happy we got to meet her kids and her ex-boo or her baby daddy, whatever you want to call him. Girl. Wow. And her daughter is a notable newcomer, so shouts out to her. Wow, you know what's so freaking crazy? Y'all see how long I tried to get freaking Simone and Alexis a freaking fame point? And it took forever. And this little girl did it in one little shot. Like, without me even trying. Like I said, I'm going to end this video right here. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe, 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 you guys. The more you subscribe, the more I know you guys like what I'm doing. And the more you like my videos and watch them, the more I know you guys like what I'm doing. And it'll make me keep so we get guys i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching and yeah bye